thing no uh, that we're going to discuss for this morning is recorded no be polite be courteous to your classmates to your teacher turn off your microphone in the entire uh, discussion so once you call your name you may turn on your microphone no to answer the questions or if you want to have quizzes or some add ups now with our topic so i'll be sharing a window so our topic for this morning is art appreciation so the general overview of the humanities can you see right now the presentation yes po, sir yes po. okay very good thank you for your confirmation so we have here the uh, general overview of the humanities that the work of creative artists have a uh, threefold no in creativity process so the first one is the artist the prime mover or you or us the one who created no the artworks the performer the communication the way how we how we communicate with other no to through the audience na meron tayo which one will interpret the meaning of our performances or the artwork that we have done on front of them either it's a work of art ng a painting it's a work of art and dance it's a work of art of different uh, art forms that you know like your mga sculpture uh, architecture no or other for art forms na meron tayong available next is the idea where did you get the idea or how the persons you know make an idea of making an art works because of you are aware of the things you no know, that surrounds them so these are the uh, in opportunity or at the same time these are the similes no that been senses by our our uh, sense of sight the touch no and all our other other senses that working on our body so this is a very important no because this this awareness no in our surroundings make feel as i uh, know uh, more uh, uh, more creative and the more we create no and attracted yung isang bagay for us so once we lost our senses mga available sa atin no let's say yung sense of sight so everything is being black we don't see anything or things that are are not clear with us no we don't have any idea or how we can respond no or to have an expression in doing such work of art na naiisip na so yeah, and we have the art of expression, so-called higher senses. That is very much important to us as an artist one. But at somehow, meron pati naman mga artists that still can do any work of art, though uh, missing or they, they have a disability and they don't have this kind of senses na available sa kanila. So meron pinanganak na sadyang wala ng ganitong bagay. But anyway, uh, with other senses naman natin, still functioning or still uh, they are uh, useful because uh, although hindi sila completely like what we have no, as a normal individual, uh, it still have no, yung ating senses pa rin in equity sa kanila. So marami pa din pwede. So they can make use of. Kaya nga yung veil or sa mga bulag, no, and yung mga sign language for those cannot speak, no? cannot uh, uh, move their mouths no and then create a words them to uh, communicate with others no we have other ways no para at least validate natin to mga lackings no in their uh, in their parts of the body no and then how they they interact with other next is the experience very much important na that the experience is na meron tayo yan yung mga meron tayo na they can in impress no yung artist on how much she decided to use on the basis for a picture a poem a play or a dance one so yun yung mga magandang uh, kind of way of explanation of in making of expressing or impressing no an experience and of course studying the arts become the study of humankind why because throughout studying arts no nakita din natin yung evolution ng human kind would you imagine before and how people how people uh, uh play their uh musics their play how yung mga arts na meron sila and through that until now as you perceive na yung mga meron tayo before ang laki ng changes ang laki ng pinagbago or ang laki ng innovation na nangyari so before we don't have an instrument 
uh, powered by electric but right now we have a lot of instruments that need or powered by an electric no it makes it heavy it makes more uh, beautiful yung create na sounds niya and it more appealing yung kanyang looks no, na meron siya and more so it uh, describe also yung ating how we live no, in that society before and look at our literature how is it evolved no? and until now uh, look at our literature in the theater it being adopted no it makes into the th entertainment one na meron tayo so we have so many uh, other examples but we have a limited of time so we will continue further na yung mga studying of human kind na meron tayo in the arts but in the philippines we have yung mga fox natin and we have a lot of uh, uh, arts na meron tayo. We are rich, no? But because of the end of the evolution of man, the changes in the world, no? And the influences of other country, medyo, nababag, medyo nawawala or nagiging uh, deteriorate na yung mga gain na uri ng ating uh, art of expression. Next is the uh, some other artists, no? That we know and you are already uh, inform about their works you know, and what are their names about their uh, in the field of works of arts the meron sila. So once a uh, painting, you know, in uh, a painter, it involves using a paint you know, or make a painting and we have so many medium through the use of this one, yung painting na meron tayo. And if you are a, paint, uh, a painter, you are making a painting, right? Next is a sculptor, the one who uses the stone or metal or wood. So, sculptor, na di sculptor ng mga bagay na kung saan gamit niya yung mga medium ng stone, metal or wood, which available in his place or her place. So, kilala dyan ng Betis Pampanga, ang Paete Laguna, they are good no, na ini-impart pa nila itong mga sculptor nilang gawa. And because of the uh, yan, deforestation, most of the sculptor no o yung sculptor natin yun, are now shifting to another uh, medium na meron tayo. so they make use right now yung stone and metal then next we have the architect so as an architect we know that uh, it takes time and of course it makes no you uh, intelligent also because there is a licensure with this uh, uh, course no, or these professions so meron tayo so so architect pag ukatawaging architect no uh, you need to, to pass first yung mga subjects, mga academics, the bachelors, the, the, the board examinations. And then, before you create no, your your uh, plan, your blueprint, no, using building materials na meron ka, yan, i-create ka ulit no, na meron tayo. So, yun yung mga meron tayo, very technical, yung work ng architect, or pagiging architecture. No? Next, we have author. You, as an AV uh, journalism, you are more into the uses, using of words creating of sentences, creating of a simple to complex words, the meta are sentences, and then you use of syntax and many more, no, and the uh, making of creating of words like yung mga figure of speech or figurative languages na meron tayo, which no uh pwede natin ilagay in point, no, or sa novel, or pagiging novelist and while yung composer naman is more on uh, play on the role of uh, musical sounds, no? Pwedeng create ng mga notes, no? You may have full notes, no? May rest. So, these are, no, na meron tayo in composing of uh, musical sounds. For a choreographer, so, alam natin yan that they are uh, inclined, no? In body kinesthetics, no? Or moving, no? Uh, aesthetically, yung kanilang body movements. So, next is the scope of humanities. Well, actually, the scope of humanities is broad because uh, it discusses uh, all types and kinds of the arts that we have are existing right now. Although, uh, meron tayo mga limited examples here, but these are some of the uh, 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 most popular ones no, on our place or on our setting na, na nakikita natin. So, like, it consists of visual arts, and the mga paintings, no, the mga landscape that na natin makita, literature, more on the literary arts, the drama, where I have dramatists, no, the play of artists, no, actor and actresses, the theater that involve no and actions. We have the music, 
no setting down notes and the dance no it can be uh, as one or it can be combined no into one type of an arts so like you music and dance it's theater na may drama or literature na ginamit natin through that uh pinonvert natin to, to make a theater or in a form of entertainment right now visual arts we perceive with our eyes so of course without the use of our sense of sight yung mga visual arts natin na available on our surroundings cannot be interpreted no, and we cannot impress no with them without through the use of it so very much important no the role of our sense of sight no to interpret or to uh, understand better the visual arts no that on our front no or on our surroundings so we have two groups of visual arts the graphic and the plastic art so while on the graphic art we have the painting and drawing and then while on the other hand the plastic art is the architecture interior, interior design so later we will discuss further what are these uh two no groups ng graphic and the plastic arts na meron tayo. next we have the humanities palette Humanities is from the Latin word humanus, no means human, cultured, and refined. No, as the word refined, no, yung ginamit yaan, yung human, we human, we are the human beings. We have our nature as a man. We have our own ways of solving and creating a solution. We are cultured. We have own traditions in the way of living. These customs are practiced by our uh, community. So we are refined in creating no, different things no in life. We do our best no to become an innovative no and to create no more possible uh, solutions in life. So we have humanities is humanitas that refers to the quality of being or a human being no na meron tayo. So yun yung nagiging uh, interpretation ng ating humanities or meaning itself to the word na meron tayo. Next, uh, much more yung humanities natin is studying cultural aspect of a man frailties and how this can be improved as they could mention a new and a description from the word humanus no uh, meaning so these are evidences no na sinabi ko kanina that will tackle about this part so these are some of the branches the philosophy the arts and languages the chemistry anthropology and economics so it does also yung humanities and it deals all the informations about humanities again. So next is the nature of man. So we have already discussed yung meaning ng human. So we have got to with nature of man and man. So we are known as homo sapiens. These are scientific name no to us. So we are are the dominant no uh, species no in the world. We have a complex no or we are a complex organism for we are composed of physical intellect and emotion so again uh, as a complex organism although we don't have uh, a complete physical body but still uh, we are a complex organism can still function no? but uh, at somehow I think Hindi then because of the disability or let's say of the person with disability of suffering from psychological so it may not be complete his being a man Kasi nga, hindi siya nagiging functionally no, as a man. So, hindi na nagiging siyang complex organism na buo at kaya niyang sumabay as normal individual. We have an intellect on how we uh, create our own knowledge, no, to share our, our knowledge with others, and have any emotions no, to attach no, with others. And because of a nature of man, so, of course, we have wants and needs no no need to satisfy and to love a successful and happy life so yun yung ending ng isang story lagi na to have a happy life like us no or everyone wants these kinds of uh, uh set up no happy life uh yun yung mga marami so that's why we have marami tayo needs and wants in life so napakadami hindi natin may isa-isa o hindi natin mahanap lahat ng yan so that is infinite he has needs and appetites you know, for his physiological, the body aspects, niya, the intellectual that need to burn, burn, burn more knowledge you know, for it to be able to get the, the rewards, the medal, you know, or the other intellectual parts you know, of your uh, capacity that you want to aim. Pa. The psychological, so everyone knows uh, 
the mental health right now is an important matter no it is an essential unlike uh, yung sinasabi nating ibang bagay more so on material aspect psychological has need no an uh, arrest no and our emotions are valid psychological aspect are important or essential one no in the aspect of the nature of man because uh, without psychological uh, or healthy psychological or healthy uh, mind uh, hindi siya makaka-function as a normal individual they cannot cope with the normal or they cannot meet her demands or his demands so we have social no man's in an island no, lahat tayo we tend to uh, communicate we tend to socialize ourselves and we don't, we don't want to isolate isolate ourselves from others we have economic political more and spiritual in nature that are parts of this nature of man the spiritual you no know, are still essential the moral aspect are still essential the way of living to have a moral you no know, uh, and humane way of living nature of man his efforts are geared towards the fulfillment of those needs of course everything is geared towards the fulfillment of his needs because kung lalabang ka nga sa isang exam sabi nga may kung ihahalin po sa isang gera kung wala kang golpe no paano ka mga kalaban sa mga uh, mga kasuga pa mong mga ang mga kaaway so like any examinations you need uh, uh, pre- be prepared to have uh, a review or knowledge no to, to fulfill your dreams no, and to pass this examination. Without of this preparation, you cannot pass the examination at the same time. It's your loss. No? Na kawawa ka naman. Ikaw din naman gumagawa ng iyong sariling uh, choice in life no, na tinatawag na. So, hindi naman natin sinisisi, but everyone knows uh, the consequences of our uh, behavior. And at the same time, itong mga gusto natin in the fulfillment of our life, it is because of our the drive or the urge now that we wanted no, to have an our personally sa atin bilang isang ka. Next, we have the behavioral aspect of a man. Man is rational for because uh, he has the power of reasoning and walang taong bobo, walang taong walang alam, walang taong hindi niya kaya. Because man is rational, can think critically, have a thinking of uh, more than doon sa in-expect natin. Because our minds are really a an impressive parts of the uh, nervous system or the brain one na meron tayo. So, the brain is the seat of wisdom, the seat of knowledge. Uh, our intelligence are here. We must cultivate our our knowledge or our uh, power, no, to think well, no, about the information that we have na meron tayo. Or we need to study further, no, para much more na maintindihan natin. We have men as a complex techniques of producing, procuring, preparing, and cooking food. Unlike other uh, organisms, they cannot procure, prepare, and cook food. So they eat their own foods. They eat ni mga vegetarian, na mga animals. They eat na yung mga carnivorous. Unlike us, tayo ay they can prepare and cook food. No, they can create the way of more, uh, much more healthy, much more. Uh, 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 a well-deserved no, or humane way of eating a food no, na makikita natin. So unlike others, organisms nga like animals, they cannot no, uh, do this one. So human beings share curiosity, imagination, attention, memory, and imagination. I would like to emphasize this four, four, uh, five words that we have here. So share curiosity. So we are all human beings share curiosity. Or each and every one of us, no, sharing our uh, thunder of curious, no, or curiousness in life. So we would like to explore. We would like to know more, and that's why we we seek no for a new knowledge. We research, and we get no from this yung ating idea. So that's why we are curious. So we wanted to uh, clear this one on our mind, the mga tanong no, na meron tayo. Imitation, uh, human beings are really sharing their imitations. That's why you know, we have so many imitated materials, uh, the way we, we, we do things, no, or the process itself, and many more no, na meron tayo. Imitation is not only on one thing na pwede natin makita, but na pwede natin siyang going in the good way no, na meron tayo. So meron yung pwede to become a role model, 
no? And to become best uh, human beings na meron tayo or to become no an an exemplar one to others. So attention everyone na share attentions with other people like as now yung attention medyo mababa na and other people na yung attention you know, with other uh, works no is pwede nang uh, tumaas or bumaba din because of this pandemic. Then next is the memory. The memory are the part of the intelligence or our storage where we store all the memories no and the ideas that we have before our experiences no na meron tayo and imagination is the thing that we have how to create and imaginately yung mga simple to a, a creative way of presenting a an artworks and many more that we have classical view is uh medyo malalim philosophically because uh, man is creature endowed with higher virtues. that is true but uh, somehow of uh, some of our assessment but yung hierarchical virtues na yun, hindi natin nakikita because of some of the uh, individualism no or pagiging um uh, pagkakaiba-iba natin because of that nagkakaroon tayo ng mas iba't ibang pananaw at may iba't iba tayong personality na tinatawag so we have different cultures we have different uh, customs na pinanggalingan so these are the hierarchical virtues na meron tayo na pwede nating makuha o maibigay din sa iba or ma-influence yung others. So, the nature is as designed to serve as building blocks of society. But today, I cannot assure or guarantee that this one is the building blocks of society because many of our, as Filipinos, are not having this kind of right, uh, right kind of attitude or behavior not to help our, to help our nation to build, no, to become a better, no, one. So, medyo mababa yung ano natin. So, parang hindi na nasusundan yung kasabihan ni Jose Rizal ng kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan. So, besides, we have man's souls is composed of intellect and the will. So, yung intellect and will natin, kaiba. Yung intellect, yung ating karunungan na kung saan, kaya natin makapag-isip, no, doon sa mga bagay-bagay, sa mga gusto natin at sa mga uh, kakayahan na pwede natin gawin. Yung will naman natin, yung willingness to submit, na kung saan, hindi tayo pwedeng uh, pwersahin, hindi tayo pwedeng gamitan ng dahas, no, to, to, to do things, no, and that will is depend on you and how would you express your uh, yung pagiging submissive mo sa kanila. So, it depends naman yan, case to case. Next is, the in order for man to become an effective or efficient and productive worker, he should be properly motivated. So, kung hindi properly motivated si, si tao or si individual or human beings, he cannot be an effective on his work or efficient. At the same time, he cannot produce art forms or works na pwede natin mag- so, he should be properly motivated. Kaya nga laging sinasabi natin, I am not on the mood, no? Or on the mood to work with this one. So, I have to take a copy break. I have to unwind first. And later on, oh, I'm, if I'm back, no, to the work. So, I will become effective and efficient or a productive worker to create or to do my uh, works or chores man yan. So, marami, no? Na pwede natin. But meron namang mga tao na effective but not efficient. Productive but not effective. So, hindi siya kompleto palagi. That there is always a presence of properly motivated or there is a motivation that makes him or her or the drive to urge to work with this one. So, yun yung sinasabi natin, the drive and the urge. So, we have basic, no, to the satisfaction of his basic needs which embodies the Maslow's theory of needs. So, yun yung kailangan natin. They are properly motivated. The motivation should be present, no? To be sat, to be, to become a productive worker. Without of this, without satisfying mot- your, your, uh, your emptiness, no? Without uh, fulfilling your motivation na need mo, hindi ka makaka, uh, work with this uh, certain assignment, no? Sa iyong buhay. 
So according to Agapay, that value is closely related to one's search for meaning in human life. Uh, totoo naman, medyo malalim, laging lahat may pinagkukunan or we have own principles, we have our way of life of living, and our search of meaning in human life ay laging nandun yung values, yung pinaniniwalaan at mga bagay na meron tayo. Life becomes meaningful when a person finds something to which he could commit himself, something from which he could be commended because of his best efforts, something worth living for if necessary, worth dying for. Uh, linyahang bayani, no? linyahang kung saan. Talagang may pinaglalaban at pinagditiinan siya. But everyone knows about this uh, idea. So as a student, your dedication, your work become as a student. You no, know, you want to prove it to your parents. You want to prove to yourself. You no, know, but it's not a race. You no, know, na nakalanga natin uh, sobrang uh, an naman magbabayad din ng sarili natin. But to prove to ourselves, na kaya natin na although mahirap because of the situation, although mahirap because of the demands that we need to meet, although uh, mahirap because of the certain condition na hindi natin ina-expect and eto nangyayari but still we need to fight for and to do our best efforts no to become uh, something a uh, worth living and for necessary worth dying for so kung gagawa ka man lang kusayan mo na gawin mo na yung best mo huwag mo nang hintayin pa no na ulitin or gawin mo na agad yung pinaka best of your efforts no? to make it worth living or pinaka uh, worth it no na masasabi na So sabi nga na pag ginawa mo, usayan mo na at tapusin mo na na maayos. Pasa mo rin ng on time. So we have society. So socials is a Latin term which means companionship or friendship. That in society, we are all uh, a friendship or having a companionship with others. So meaning yung companionship is sociability. Uh, we socialize, we tend to friendship with other people, we tend to create no a form of new group. And of course, uh, we we'll live with them, you know? And according to Simmel, it is an element of sociability which defines the true essence of the society. Of course, no man's an island. Without the element of man or human beings, the the unit, you no, know, of the family or the family as the unit, uh, will not uh, work with this, you no. Know? So society belongs to uh, many group of people you have own common goods you have your own share shared uh, population or that place and at the same time what kind of cultures and traditions that are present in your community so yan yung meron tayo no in the place so society as a group or people Uh, share a common culture, occupy particular territorial area. So this is the basic qualities or the basic uh, foundation that must be uh, have yung isang community or society. Next is refers to a population yung society natin because it has a number no of a particular number of people who belongs to or live to. This is organized in cooperative manner to know that this is a society because everyone no, uh, have an understanding and a mutual understanding with each one another. So because to carry out major functions of life, if you don't have this one cooperation, chaos is the result of this life. No matter tayo. Everyone is fighting for the needs, everyone is fighting for everything no, no meron silang gusto and wants in that. So we have society occupy same territory is like what said no in the early part of this slide no, they share common culture uh, to talcott parson society's total complex of human relationship it is really true that everyone no uh cannot connect it with each one another and cannot agree with uh, another one na meron tayo kasi uh, may iba iba tayong prinsipyo pananaw bagay na kung saan hindi tayo nagkakasundo like our polit politics no like our in our house we have different way of living we have different way of setup we have different way of uh, how we deal no tong mga meron ta so yun yung mga meron tayo in life as human beings so hindi lahat ay pare parehas again this individualism way of thinking and you have different personalities na kanya-kanya tayo no na ugali individual in society is man is a social animal So we cannot separate man in the social. 
no because we are a social animal we interact we tend to to be with them no and to to communicate no to have a relationship with them so we live in a social groups in communities and in society totoo kasi saan pupunta ang isang tao kung wala naman siyang ayan katulad social groups no or communities ano siya sa isang isla na kulong doon napadpad so hindi walang ganun no, no man is an island yung sabing ganun human life and society almost go together and uh once uh, a society exists there's always no human beings that continue to to live with and to have a sustenance na hinahanap natin to create na yung society na yun. once the community ay mawala or yung society therefore yung human beings na nakatira doon or mga civilian na nandoon maguguho o mawawala din so like in the story of the bible yung mga naging story doon di ba yung mga promise land nawala yung tao sa Egyptian nawala yung civilization doon nawala din yung society it replaced another society or civilization of human beings so ganun ang nangyari man cannot live without society of course uh, it's always no, a partner that man always with the society so you are a unit you are an element that to be belong to an a society which you particularly you no know, group with man is biologically psychologically you no know, equipped to live in a group in society of course biologically you need your and uh these following parts of your body the physiological one and psychologically you must know and you must be healthy you no know, to uh meet the demands you no know, of the daily needs no na meron ka as a human being because uh, kung wala yan at medyo low or having sabihin na natin uh, yung mga simple thing na lahat yung, yung self motivations natin you no know, we are under of stress medyo problematic yung magkakaroon tayo na hindi maganda pag uh, tira sa isang bagay o sa isang sitwasyon Next, individual and society has become an essential condition for human life to arise and to continue. Uh, Every day naman, laging kasama yan. Sabi ko nga yung survival story. Pag na-replace yan, nawawala na rin. And pag nawala yan, ano pa yung mag-a-arise and mag-continue? So, may bagong civilization na uusbong. May bago na namang uh, makikita tayo. So, like yung mga empire during that time of Jesus Christ or even before the Christ era, dami ng mga ano society ang nandiyan yung mga Greek yung Roman yung Egyptian no and many more so the relationship between individual and society is ultimately one of the profound all the problems of social philosophy uh, oo kasi contract yan lagi eh, na pinapasukan na lagi dapat may pagkakaunawaan and once the uh, human beings no na uh, uh, cannot move yung kanilang uh, works na magkaayos sila, ang result no, problema, or chaos no, to result to a war, no, or pwede namang mangyari, no, na pag-usapan na lang, o kaya gawin natin na mas mabuti paraan. So, yun yung ultimate problems natin. Hindi tayo nagkakasundo sa isang desisyon. Lahat tayo may kailangan ng pananap. Man depends on society. So, right, yung society natin is always a part of the uh, man, no, na meron tayo. So without the society, man, man cannot be work or cannot be move. Or are you the only one human beings that are living to that place? So wala naman, no. So oh, we always know na we 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 depend on society because on the different trends, no, you mga meron tayo. It is a certain place na yun. Next is humanities and arts and science. Art is pertaining to skills. Science is involves a process. Social science is man as the focus. Art is a subject matter, but art is created by man for man. So art is in skills. No, yun yung skills are skilled works of arts na meron tayo as an artist. We are artists. We can produce art by through our skills that available to ourselves. That being uh, uh, harnessed. Uh, that you have a uh, practice no in a in a time or a period of time na meron tayong uh, ginagawa in that. science involves a process it create many ideas through the use of process of science it systematized it is a step step by process social science no involves man kaya nga laging study ng mga 
social science, the anthropology, philosophy, sociology, psychology, it always involves and focus of man. So sa anthropology and sociology, the study of the society community, the man that is living, the psychology, the man is the subject matter because the studying the, 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 the behavior and the mental processes of the man. And art is the subject matter in the social science, you know, which are part of our conditions that art is a, an essential matter then on our life. But art is created by man for, so of course, who will be the one to make or to use this one? Uh, uh, we are the one who make this. And for whom for whom this art of works or type of works that we that we works for? To to mga to ay sa atin, tayo din yung magko-consume, tayo rin yung uh, gagamit ng lahat ng to. Comparison humanities and philosophy. Humanities is man is the source and fountain of all creative because we are the creating subject. No? We are the man. We are the only creatures that endow the power of reason. We have all of this, you know, the power of knowledge. Well, philosophy is starting point of knowledge. We are inquiring. We, st we are, we are uh, still uh, the one who create you know, the inquiring of the subject matter. But it be personal in creating. You know, it's a manner of a uh, critical way of thinking of uh, how we create you no know, subject matter or you own uh, inquiring subject. Humanities, in contrast, in philosophy is explicit, so that is an outside. No, it's an artworks of understanding, extension of human being. So, lacking na sa external. No, philosophy is implicit because it is internal. Because uh, for how we think of how we uh, create uh, in uh, inquiring subject, uh, it's through the use of our body and soul. So, how we create them to this one is to our principles. Uh, because of our based you know, so-called uh, information that we have already in you know, in our mind and we have uh, understand from others. Why we study humanities? Through humanities, sabi do dito, we connect to places. Though, di pa tayo nakarating, but still, uh, we can visit. Oh, katulad ng mga places na in the Philippines or mga tourist destination. But once they uh, study humanities, or they see these places in the picture, they would imagine, they would, they would abase, you know, they will uh, create an, an information or they will be uh, imagine some, some information inside the picture. Understand the past or history, like what do we have in the picture of this polyarium? You know? These are the past or the history that create another information which are significant to the present. Ano ba yung meron na yan, yung artist na yan? At ano ba yung mga works of arts before na meron tayo? Like in studying of life and works of Rizal na right now are uh, mandatory of our laws, the RA 1425. What are the significance of the Nolan El Fili Mitang, El Fili Wisteris, my Nolan Mitang? So these are part of the understanding of humanities. No? So it makes us encounter great minds and hearts of human history. So yun yung mga nakaka para sa mga arts lover siguro ito yung mga nakaka satisfied sa ano ng pleasure at nakaka uh, ganda ng mood nila and of course uh, getting learning from them na uh, yung mga arts na yan would get an initial information no na pwede mag-create no and mix a sounds no to pursue more no or to motivate us then at the same time so yan yung sa mga art or art lovers na meron through humanities, you will be studying what humans have found valuable or good throughout the time. Uh, like what I said now from the Nolan and Philly, we have valuable or good, no, that we have found it, no, those uh, works ni Rizal. And at the same time, some of the works of the paintings, no, and some of the artworks, no, or architecture, no, here in the Philippines, like in my churches, no, parks, the landscape, well, and other uh, certain architecture, no, in the world, no, meron pa tayo. Through humanities, we gain global perspective through the knowledge of world cultures. Of course, yan makikita natin yung iba't ibang way of living traditions, yung experiences na meron tayo. So that's why, no, uh, pag nag-aaral tayo ng ganito, hindi natin una nung elementa tayo, hindi natin naintindihan yung mga Korea, but now in the Philippines, they are now offering yung kanilang language, no, yung Hangul, 
we really understand yung kanilang knowledge no ng cultures ng mga cultures uh, kasama sa kanila yung language it's a part no ng cultures nila kasi yun yung salita or of communications nila na ginagamit ang that means tama ba so through the humanities we will be able to build up our career focus of our life minimize frustration most importantly be able to work as part of an effective team. well uh we build our up, up, up your career if you are into an artist one or if you want to to become no uh, an artist no uh works or career talaga so you can create no you can uh, sell no ng mga yan focus our life no we have a uh, contemplation contemplation na pwede natin masabi at the same time iba kasi ang pagiging artist maraming nagagawa la marami pwedeng maging influence no like yung mga singer dancers natin or other in the other forms of art works that is available right now minimize frustrations no it can uh, motivate us no it can amaze us by reading or by looking at them like what the story no said ni sa mga uh, meron tayo yung mga parables yung mga short story so meron tayong mga kahit mga fictional fictional story but still it is a humanity so this is a arts most importantly sabi dito be able to work as a part of an effective team no? through the work of arts or through the use of the humanities so everyone no will be motivated and works no to that uh, idea so we have ayan, art from the latin word arts which means skill or crap so that skill that may created by man no and human ingenuity in adapting natural things to man's use so everyone knows his uh, his skills no uh, everyone everyone or man knows how to do his skills no in several ways so merong mga life skills merong mga street skills yung mga knowledge yun yung mga important not that skills that must be pero meron tayo yung mga skills na hindi rin makikita sa mga ganyang uh, aspeto. So, tulad na yung mga skills natin, yung pagiging isang carpenter, yung pagiging isang, uh, uh, tawag dito carpenter na gumagawa sa isang bahay. It's a skills that everyone can make or create that one. So, exemplar yan. No? Like yung painting, yung drawing, no? yun yung mga pwede natin makita. Art is involved with skillful arrangement of composition. Some common but significant qualities of nature such as color, sounds, lines, movements, words, tones, suits, and others. No, So, to express human feelings, emotion, or thoughts in a perfect, meaningful, and enjoyable way. Well, actually, art, uh, like, for example, your music, skillful arrangement or composition. So, we must send in notes, your lyrics, no? should be accordance uh, and appropriately with their, uh, ano ba yung tone na hinahanap mo, no? And the colors and uh, the pictures are should complement hindi yung puro uh, warm colors lang should also yung mga uh, cool colors then or they have also a neutral colors the lines are not only horizontal and diagonal we have other forms of lines that you can use no the words are the words can create no by way of creating uh, words aesthetically by use of figurative languages and many more is know how to express our human feelings no, are your emotions an enjoyable in a perfect manner way? So we have natural object versus an artworks. So alam natin yung natural objects at saka yung artworks. It involves of making pag natural pag artworks of human beings. No, there is a human a uh, human intervention. No, yeah. So tao gumagawa, tao ang center ng paggawa o tao ang mismong nagki-create ng artworks. While natural objects are not, these are environmental. These are uh, an environmental aspect that are present, that are not naturally, you know, move or uh, grown on that place or in certain uh, setting or place. That work of art can express ideas. So, pwedeng communicate niya yan, pwedeng niyang express yung emotion, pwedeng sabihin natin yung painting ay sumusunod sa akin yung mata, ay parang totoong-totoo yung picture na ginawa niya ay parang katulad na katulad yung mga bagay na nakita ko dyan mula sa visual arts na yan and they can express and communicate ideas or feelings with me but nature cannot 
So as you look, know the the picture of a nature, it doesn't have any communication that that uh, gives you no in a uh, in a uh, parang mabilis na pamamaraan o biglang pagkita sa iyo. So yun yung mga bagay niyo. So we have yung mga natural objects na, na meron tayo like yung mga available in our surroundings. Then next is work of art like sentences but unlike natural objects can mean something. This point can be perhaps be better put another way. Work of art like sentences but unlike natural objects can embody communicative intentions the way they present and the way you communicate with this. So work of arts can imitate nature. So they can uh, uh, create like yung mga ginawa no, ng mga, let's say, falls, underwater, underwater uh, leisure, no Manila Ocean Park, or many, many parks that are still uh, be copied no, or imitate the nature. And nature cannot imitate nature. So because of that, uh, they cannot no, uh, imitate no, one another. So, yun yung limitation nila. So, uh, I will end my presentation by page 21. I'll be stop sharing. So, I hope you learned something about this morning lessons na- lesson natin.